I was Democratic leader, one of the things I wanted to do was make sure I understood all of the state. And actually the year before I became leader, I went on a tour of South Georgia with the Chair of Agriculture, Tom McCall. And what I understand is that what farmers need, what agriculture needs are three things. One, predictability. Knowing that the state is going to stand beside them and not put barriers in their way. Number two, it's investment in those counties. Making sure that we're thinking about water and water issues and that we're thinking about it more broadly than just Atlanta. Making sure that we are protecting the environment and incentivizing as much as possible precision agriculture and development. But third, it's making sure that it's a fun place and a good place to live and raise your family. And that's why I'm so invested in conversations about investing in healthcare, investing in broadband, and making sure that we're bringing to South Georgia and to the ag community all of the accoutrements that Metro Atlanta and other areas enjoy. This year, the legislature passed SB 402, which is important because it's going to do an evaluation and an assessment of all the places we need to invest. The problem is there was no money attached to that bill. As governor, I pledged to actually leverage the resources of the state in cooperation with both federal and private dollars to make sure that we're actually investing in rural broadband access. I know that in Sumter County, they recently announced an initiative to do rural broadband, to do municipal broadband. That might make sense for larger communities, but we want to make sure we're helping not only places like Americas, but places like Abbeville and Osceola, make sure that they all get connected and all those tiny towns in between. So what I've always believed as a tax attorney and a policy person, we need to allow every community to adapt to the tax base that they have. Not every community should rely heavily on sales taxes or property taxes alone. And unfortunately in Georgia, we treat every single community the same. Whether you live in Atlanta or Appling County, you are treated exactly the same. And instead, I think we should give counties and cities more authority over the kind of tax base that they create. If it makes more sense to rely on sales taxes versus property taxes, they should have that opportunity. What we wanna make sure of though, is that we never destabilize the fundamental responsibilities we have. That means education always has to be fully funded, but we can have a conversation about the inputs and make sure that we're working together to guarantee that everyone gets what they need, but that we get it the right way for each community. I want everyone in Georgia to know that I'm running to be their governor. I'm not running to be the governor of Atlanta. A few years ago, I showed a cow at the Legislative Livestock Roundup at Perry at the State Fair, and I became the Legislative Livestock Roundup champion. I showed a thousand pound heifer named Bessie, and I it was as close to a cow as I'd ever been outside of McDonald's. But here's what I learned. I worked with a 4-H student who shared with me his love of the land and his desire to come home. And I wanted to pledge to him and to everyone that my responsibility is to make sure that we can all thrive no matter where we live in Georgia. I will be a governor for all of Georgia and I will never forget rural Georgia because it reminds me of home and it, I know that rural Georgia is the beating heart of our state.